thank you, whoever's hitting their glass. My name is Judy Weisbart, and I'm the Vice President of Community Relations for the World Business Academy, and I'm really pleased to be here and see how many of you are here. Uh, it's a rainy night, and we were expecting this many, but I didn't think that all the chairs would be filled, and they pretty much are, so thank you for coming out. This is an important evening. I'd like to uh, first say that I appreciate all of our elected officials who are here. Uh, this is an important and really um, impactful conversation, both with the people sitting here talking and with your questions. So I'm glad that those who um, are in politics are here to hear this. And I'd like to thank our mayor, uh, Kathy Murillo is here, as well as Eric Friedman and Jason Dominguez and Kristen Sne Sneedon, sorry, Kristen, uh, from Thanks. City Council. And then we also have um, Stephanie Ramirez from Monique Ramon's office and Jefferson Litton from Joan Hartman's office. So thank you all for being here this evening and supporting us. So I know this is a uh, first time for many of you. I'd just like to tell you a couple of things about the World Business Academy. After me, Rinaldo Brudico, the president and founder, will be speaking. So I'm not going to go into a lot of detail, but I would like to say that we have started something with the Ellen Canto called the Global Citizens Club. There's information at the front desk if you're interested. And basically what we're trying to do is create a citizens club globally with all of the organizations in our community who wish to be involved. So if you are someone who has donated $300 or more to an organization in our town that is interested in being one of the global citizens, please ask me or um, Kristen in the back or Angeline over there. We can give you a little bit more information. Um, Lisa's somewhere too and she'll help. Um, I think it's something that many of you might be interested in. There's some great deals with the Ellen Canto, and you're invited to all these events. Um, this evening, we are going to talk about retail, but I think before I do that, and as this starts, I just want to ask everyone to take a deep breath, because we all need a deep breath, and come into the room and realize that we are all neighbors, and we are all citizens of a community that's under a lot of emotional, physical, and spiritual stress right now. And as thousands of us have been evacuated, I know that many of you are sitting here and are not in your home. And if not you, then someone you love. So i just like to think about all those who are not in their home and give them our love and our support. That's part of what we do here. We're a conscious group. We really believe that what we think and what we do matters to our community. And so I am grateful that you are thinking of those people with love and respect. And hopefully everyone will go back in the next day or so. So um, one of the things that came up last meeting, which was a month ago, uh, was actually about the microgrid for Montecito. We have continued working on that. It has something to do with tonight, and Ronaldo will go into that, but it's really another project that the World Business Academy finds really important for this community to make us resilient, and he will discuss that with you. Um, I think the most important part about this organization that it's holistic. Um, like a body, if you get a cold, it affects your lungs and your head and your ears and every other part of your body. Same thing is true with anything that goes wrong in a community. If we're not resilient and strong, uh, the whole body has a problem. So that's what this organization is trying to do. And that being said, we try to support and work with organizations and ideas that are meaningful and that are in alignment with the conscious thoughts of this organization. And one of those is going to be um, on March 28th, um, UCSB has an economic forecast project that's going to be at the Libero Theater. Um, Eric Songquist is here. Can you put up your hand, Eric? There we go. And he can give you more information. But it's at the Libero Theater, March 28th through at 3.30 to 5.30. Uh, the State Insurance Commissioner will be here, David Jones. There will be a panel discussion. And the conversation will be on the fire and floods, um, an important thing for you to go to and to learn more about if you're interested. Free. Oh, I forgot the free. It's free. That's very important. Um, all that being said, I really want to introduce um, our leader, the man who, when I came into this organization almost five years ago, 
was a visionary and now is actually seen as a really smart realist. Uh, five years ago, the idea of microgrids for Santa Barbara were questionable. Today, they are on the front line. The idea of conscious business and really looking at how we do our business and how we help our community was also visionary, but it's tonight, as you can see, a lot of people feel very strongly. So I would like to introduce a dear friend, an amazing visionary, and the president and founder of the World Business Academy, Ronaldo Brudico. This is very brief. I'm going to introduce the panel after we hear from Kate. Um, but uh, just a couple quick things. Uh, the Global Citizens Club, which Judy referenced, uh, also is free. You left that out. <laughs> uh, and what it is, is it's a way for us to thank the people who are donating $300 a year or more to this community in almost any way. Because it means you care enough to think globally and act locally. So please take us up on becoming a, a global citizen. You get invited to these events, you get great discounts at the El Encanto seven days a week on food, beverage, spa, et cetera. Our partners, the El Encanto in this program have been really forthcoming and made these rooms available and have been partnering with us in scheduling these meetings for the community. So uh, do, do check that out. Number two, I wanted to mention that the, um, the project that we talked the most about last time, the, the uh, Montecito microgrid, uh, we met with Edison the next day. Uh, those conversations went extremely well, and it looks like we're entering into the beginnings of negotiations actually to build two microgrids in Montecito. The first one will be Lower Village Road, but simultaneously we'll also do the Upper Village. Um, we were able to, fortunate enough that some of the people who came that night wanted to form a local citizen steering committee, which we're advising. Uh, our, our work right now is probably about a hundred thousand dollar donation in terms of electrical work we've done to get this all up and running. Uh, we want the citizens committee to take it over. Sarah Miller McCune was kind enough to um, uh, offer to put together a steering committee meeting at our offices. They've met. There's another meeting coming up shortly. So if you are concerned about the idea of electrical resilience in Montecito, uh, feel free to let us know so you can participate in that. And why that's so critical is one of the key issues in the so-called yellow zones that will impair people getting adequate insurance and or mortgages is the belief that the power would get cut off in the event of a disaster again. And so Edison has requested that we do the upper village where we would be able to power the fire station and we'd be able to power uh, pumps both for water and for what would have been the reservoir pumps that lost power. So uh, we're hopeful that Edison will continue in a positive vein. Um, and because the upper and the lower village microgrids will be basically stacked on top of each other, that means every house in between will be able to participate and we'll use it as a nucleus to keep growing the microgrid. So some good coming of that. Uh, the proposal we made four years ago to the Public Utilities Commission to microgrid the state of California is becoming more of an accepted theory of approach to the future of the grid, and we'll keep you posted on that. Um, the idea of global citizens is we think globally, we act locally, and for us that's Santa Barbara first, state of California, the United States, and ultimately the world. So anything you do to contribute to that conversation is of value to us, and we're here to serve in that capacity. Uh, the last reason I'm up here for right now is just to say I want to thank uh, all of the people who came tonight and those who got evacuated who couldn't come. Um, these issues, um, Montecito, we're dealing tonight with the question of retail. And I want to just, as, at the request of a retail owner in uh, Coast Village Road, they wanted to know why we picked uh, downtown retail for today as opposed to retail in Santa Barbara generally because, as you can imagine, Coast Village Road has been very dramatically uh, affected. Um, the reason is because uh, we had to start somewhere. Uh, we believe that we have to tackle the Coast Village Road retail question separately. The issues are clearly separate. And this is the one that's been getting talked about the most. I was privileged to hear a lot of different views about it, and I felt that if we get those views in the room at one time, maybe we could get a better conversation going. I'm particularly grateful that the mayor and several of our councilmen are here tonight uh, to hear what's going to come about. Last point, um, again, housekeeping, uh, you'll see crews here. We did film with uh, very good high quality film and audio at the Montecito meeting. Uh, we're doing it again tonight. Anybody who wants to participate in this conversation but didn't get here will be able to see this video and can plug in also. Uh, 